What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and it's finally here. We have our first box of Rebel Clash to open on the channel. I'm very excited. It took quite a while for it to get here, but it's finally here. And tomorrow we're actually be opening up another box of this. Uh, in case you didn't know, we stream PTCGO about three times a week. And tomorrow we're actually going to kick off our stream with a live box opening. So we'll be streaming it live on Twitch and YouTube. And then last announcement is if you want to, your, if you do want to win one of these bad boys, we'll be giving away one of these next week. Um, we'll say that the details of how to enter the giveaway will come out on Monday's video. So definitely stay tuned for that. So a lot of Rebel Clash to open. Let's get into our very first box. Very excited about this. Um, lots of, I'm hoping that this will shake things up as far as the standard meta, you know move away from a lot of these uh, tag teams and have a lot more evolving going on with these V maxes as opposed to just these <laughs> ADPs and Zacians running about. Alright, we're going to open all 36 packs. Stuff that we want to find, obviously the big ticket item right now is boss's order, so I'll be sweet to pull one of those. As far as V maxes, the Dragon Pult sounds really cool, Bolton sounds pretty cool. The one I want to build first is going to be Rillaboom, so let's see if we can pull that. I really wanted to play around with Nine Tails as well, I feel like there's a lot of potential around there. Some people are talking about Syndrace, that one I can't say I'm as excited about. But all right, let's get into our first opening. And one last thing about our live streams is if you do play the online game, we do giveaways for packs essentially throughout all of our streams. So make sure you do check it out if you do play the game. Uh, one note about that is if you are sub to the channel, like it will tell you when we're streaming, but if you do want to win the giveaways, it only, we use Streamlabs and only supports through Twitch though. So. If you do want to give went to the giveaways uh make sure you join us via twitch and okay we got our first hit already and it is that nine tails we pulled one of these in our grab a sleeve in our uh, b and b box so happy to it but this thing does have a lot of potential with that nine tails shapeshifter um let's say you just you're going second you can do this turn your first turn with welder uh, get three energies on there and if Zacian is still a thing and that happens to be still in there active for some reason you can just get rid of that ADP yeah you can't you can't alter creation exactly but you could or you can't use the power up unless you have an extra was it water energy but you could use ultimate ray which is pretty good to ramp up three basic energies right off on your first turn all right Let's get into pack number two, and we should pay attention to the actual commons uncommons in case there's anything cool that we should be aware of. A low Galarian Meow. Let's see, discard two cards from your hand in order to use the ability. You may search your Berserker reveal and put it onto your hand. Oh, I thought it was going to be like the uh, Dust Skulls. Not quite as good, but uh, just tutors it up, and if you do need to discard some cards. All right, more Pekko. Let's just see. Torment, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon during your next turn. Pokemon can't use that attack. Hmm. Spark 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench. And then Aegislash. Takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks and Power Edge for 130. Hmm, that doesn't sound that good. All right, one hit so far. As far as uh, some stuff that we have seen, it seems like the pull rates could be pretty good. I uh, love it when we see multiple secret rares or like a rainbow and a gold card in a single box. So let's hope for that. Good old Pokeball is back. Meditate. This art looks very familiar. Never a fan of when we see recycled art. Milo. Discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two cards for each. So it's kind of like Roxy. Uh, more flexible but not as good. And then Darmanitan. Blizzard for 80, 10 damage to each your opponent's bench Pokemon for stage one. And then 170 uh, for two and two. Discard during your next turn. Can't use that attack again. Oh boy. I'm so excited to open this. Stumbling a little bit. All right, but yeah, how have your pulls been going? And what is it that you've managed to pull? And what is it that you're still looking for? Yeah, beyond, uh, you know, boss's orders, obviously, and a capacious bucket. 
Uh, actually, we're gonna put these off to the side. I think this is a, just, you know, if you're ever playing water, why not get a two for one? Turf Field Stadium. I think maybe we'll use this in our Rillaboom deck since we do have to do a lot of evolving. Corsola, Litwick, this also, nah, maybe not. Really Coley. And then a Dragapult, uh, the non V version. If any damage this Pokemon is done to this Pokemon, flip a coin, prevent that damage. Okay, so it's kind of like a Whimsicott. And Phantom Force 120, put 30 damage counters in opponent's po bench Pokemon in any way you like. Okay. Oh, yes. All right, we got real. This is actually pretty interesting. It's not, it's kind of like a mini version of the V Max. All right, Rillaboom V, and there we go. But this is just the really not the VMAX. Uh, we do have a couple of these from the promos, but now we have a full art version. I do like this art. I kind of like the coloring, how um, have a bunch of different colors in the background it really makes the really boom pop. Uh, search your deck for two basic grass Pokemon. So maybe you need to find your Grookey and maybe another really boom. And then Woodhammer 220. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. All right, that's our full art. All right, we got a lot of packs to go through, so we might pick up the pace. Sonya, search your deck for two basic Pokemon, up to two basic energies, reveal them, that's not too bad. Yamask, Appalin, Tame, Arakuda, Obama Snow, and then, oh, this card is interesting. Uh, it's kind of like, what was it? The Vickavolt? Uh, once your turn, you may attach a fire and a fighting energy or one of each from your discard pile onto your Pokemon any way you like. So, pretty cool. Um, it is a stage two, but you can have some pretty cool ramp. But it is uh, up to one of each. So, it's. You know, you do have to get. It's not as simple as like obviously it's more potential compared to like Malamar but as far as setting up just discarding single type it's a little bit more straightforward. Skunk type, Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gas, that's a weird art. Ooh, Volpex is very cute. Coughing and then a Barboach and then just a Garboder. Ooh, but this, uh, I Toxtricity also looks really cool with this guy. Once in your turn, if a stadium is in play, you make your opponent's Pokemon poison. Toxtricity does additional damage if your, the opponent's Pokemon is poisoned. Sounds like a fun combo to me. But at this point, we're kind of running. Actually, this guy won't attack, so maybe it's okay. The fact that he's dark. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming with this set. I really like the special energies. The the lightning one sounds really good. Twin energy, so basically it's like a DCE, but doesn't count for V or GX Pokemon. I feel like that's a pretty good way to try to balance it. To not make, you know, GX tag, or more specifically tag teams, or the V kind of like run over everything. All right, almost about uh, halfway through our first half of the box. Probably try to pick up the pace. More, more grim. Uh, false surrender. Sixty is infected by attacks. All right. Ooh, our first scoop up net. This thing sounds really broken and expanded. I feel like they could have made this card not ridiculous if they just added ex. Otherwise, this is basically repeat your shamans. I imagine this thing, I wonder if this thing will be banned and expanded really quickly. A Galarian Weezing. Oh, I like the reverse pattern. As long as Pokemon is your active spot, your opponent's Pokemon have no abilities except for neutralizing gas. So this is kind of like Glaceon's, uh, was it something glare or something? Severe poison, your opponent's active point is not poison and four damage. Ooh, I really like this. We'll put this off to the side. I wonder if we can make something happen with this deck. And then Trevenant. Uh, your opponent can't retreat. That's not that exciting. But yeah, if you guys uh, are available tomorrow, 7 p.m. EST, check out our live opening. Obviously, it will be posted after the fact. And then we will jump into our regular scheduled TCGO stream. Uh, I think we saw this earlier. Discard two cards, your opponent's reveals, and you can put one of the cards in their hand into the bottom of their deck. 
Darumaka Phalanx. Actually, uh, is this the interesting one? Phalanx, uh, search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. Maybe you got more Phalanx. 30 damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has Phalanx in its name. So if you have all four of them, I guess that's not that much damage. Gyarados. Always see, cool to see a Gyarados. You never like stadiums. Discarding stadium in play for 200 damage. That's five energy. That's quite a high cost. Let's see. Actually, the gold cross moth was uh, been keeping an eye on the pre-order prices. It does seem like boss's order was like what 40 or something, and then the gold frost moth wasn't too far behind. Capacious buckets. Toxel. That was the first time we saw that. Clefairy, that's a cool art. Magmar, I like that art as well. And then a Runergris. Uh, let's see, Wood Mad Hammer, 30 damage to itself. Reach damage counter on this. Put two damage counters of opponents, Pokemon in any way you like. Whoa. Okay. I feel like there's some potential here as well. Let's say you put on a big charm or something so you can bring that up to uh, 130, so you have 120 damage on this. Um, possibly self-inflicted in some fashion, kind of like Spirit Tomb was, and then you just drop uh, 240 damage any way you like. Hmm. With expanded, was it Focus Sash? I think prevents you from getting knocked out, or drops your HP down to 10 to make that really easy to activate. But then it's only 90, 180. But that's still not too bad for a DCE. All right, that's another one to keep an eye on. Lombre, top entry once in your turn. If you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, your bench is in full, you may put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. Okay, so you can skip the evolution if you want. It's kind of like a, um, what is it, Miracles from Magic Gathering. Curse Shovel, if this Pokemon is attached to is knocked out, discard two up two cards from your opponent's deck. And then Frapple, we got this from our B&B box. You can put two damage counters any way you like, but then it goes back into the hand of the deck into your deck. All right, it's been a little bit since we got a hit. It seems typically there's like eight hits in a box. And we only got two so far. Scyther. All right, Spirit Tomb. Let's go to the top of each player's deck. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. For each Pokemon in your discard pile. Ooh, interesting. Oh, yes. All right, so. We are getting the cards that we wanted. Rillaboom VMAX. This is the one we wanted to play. And let's see, scratch for 50 damage, but you know, for only one energy, that's not too bad. And then in case you don't have your Rillaboom, regular Rillaboom going yet, but then once you do, uh, basically you are playing max speeding, discard, let's just say you discard to three, so you deal additional 150, so 280, but then you use the Rillaboom to basically do that every turn. So really happy with this pickup. I should double save this. I'll double save this later. So all right, we already got a really boom and really boom V Max. Probably gonna need at least one more of each for our deck. And uh, we probably use like the Row Egg or something, Turf Field, Evo Incense. I'm not sure what the best way to evolve would be. Perhaps you can also go Rare Candy as well. So a lot of options. Sky. Eh, we'll take a look at Sky later. Okay, we got another V-card, Iskew. Cold Absorption, whenever you attach a water energy. Uh, from your hand, this Pokemon during your turn, heal 30 damage from that. And it's whenever you uh, attach. So let's say you have Frostmoth or something, you can heal a bunch of times. Uh, to what end? Blizzard for 120. Attack does 10 damage to each your opponent's bench Pokemon. Sounds interesting, but I'm not sure if this is going to be good enough. All right, now we're going to really pick up the pace. I think we'll probably maybe skip the commons going forward. Phantom, Droopy, Farfetch. We pulled a the Surfetch the last time. Electivire. All right, let's pick up the pace. We still have a lot of packs to go. All right, so I think to do that, we just need to put these two here, and then we can throw the rest of the front. Ooh, Luxio also has that top entry. Same thing as that Lombre. It's kind of cool. Durant, Palos, and Barnacle, Barbacle, and then Mr. Rhyme. Let's see what we have here. 
Screen Cleaner, prevent all effects. You know, it's that accept damage done to all your Pokemon that have energy attached to them. What? Prevent all effects of your opponent except, oh, okay. So no, if you have an energy on it, you can't get any kind of effects, but you still get damage. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Sounds like a weaker version of, what was it? The Galarian Rapidash? Ooh, I forgot to do that. Speed energy, there we go. Actually, these, the Butterfree doesn't seem like it does a whole lot, but I do like how you can, the adapted evolution you can evolve it really quickly. All right, let's see, Berserker. Uh, let's see, flip three coins, stack same, eh. And then Mandibuzz, Bone Rush, flip until you get Tails, 30 damage. And then Blindside, 100 damage to one of your opponents Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. That could be interesting. Okay, just about done with the first half of the box. Oh boy. All right, and we got a Dragapult. Infiltrator, if any damage done to this Pokemon, flip coin, head to prevent, oh, we already read this. That does sound pretty good though. And for the rest of this pack, a Milo, Shuckle, and a Bunnelby. I think uh, we have been opening Hidden Fates again, and we kind of got back into the, you know, used to getting a uh, hit every other pack. And then whenever you come back to this, it's kind of rough. A Credent Greedy Tail. Once in your turn, you may search your deck for a tool card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Whoa, that's pretty good. We play a bunch of tools. All right. Done with the first half. Skyla, search your deck for a trainer card. Okay, so it's just straight up reprint. Reverse Skyla, and then a regular Nine Tails. Hex, your point active Pokemon is affected by special conditions, does 120, and then Flickering Flames is now asleep. Hmm. Don't think that's exactly strong enough, but interesting card. All right, it's been a while since we got a hit. Psychic, and let's keep getting those uh, special energies. Haven't seen the Psychic one. Seismatos, Split Spiral Punch. Your opponent's Pokemon is now confused. And Resonance, 120 if your opponent's active Pokemon is confused. Uh, okay, so one, two, punch for a lot of damage, actually. And a Sandiconda V. Let's see what we have here. Sand Eater, attach a Fighting Energy from your discard pile onto this Pokemon. So next turn you can Sand Breath, but discard two. Mm, that doesn't sound don't like that discard too. Maybe you're supposed to try to get the that uh, that ramper from the discard, but that's another stage two. Doesn't sound that interesting. Scoop up net. There we go. Trevenant and another Mr. Rhyme. Training Court. Once during each, each player, that player may put a basic energy from the discard pile onto their hand. Hmm, that's interesting. Top entry, Hone Edge. Okay, Phalanx V. I think this is the one I'm kind of interested in. All of your... The Phalanx. Does Phalanx... Is other attack? Does that include Phalanx V? Probably not. All your Pokemon that have Phalanx in their name. So it doesn't say it needs to be Phalanx V. Take 20 less damage from each opponent attacks after applying weakness. I'm wondering if this could stack. If this does stack, I wonder if you just have like a straight Phalanx deck. How viable that could be. Giga Impact during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Phalanx could be fun just to create, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of a meme deck, but uh, that sounds like fun. Alright, six hits. 
Let's see how many we can get. Medicham. Morgrim, a couple of these Morgrims, and then a Frapple. Alright, so still haven't seen any kind of secret rare. So I am getting a little nervous as far as, you know, that chance of hitting two, it will hit zero. <laughs> Oof, that will be rough. A Nuggets. This is interesting. Kind of like that miracle card. If you play this card, if you drew it from your beginning of turn before you put it in your hand, draw three cards. And that's all it does. And once again, reminder, tomorrow we will do another box opening live, 7 p.m. EST, before our TCGO stream. Aegis Slash with that big shield. Want this guy. Electricity sounds fun. Or Peko, another capacious bucket. This word capacious. Horror energy, there we go. Our first horror energy. Hmm, it seems like the pull rates on the special energies is not very high. We did pretty good with our build a box or BNB. Uh, this Pokemon is your active spot and is damaged by opponent's attack put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So this kind of sounds like a default that you have this guy, which is only two. So if you slap that onto Sigilef, 50 damage for, you know, even for return damage, that's not bad. Psychic Assault. This attack does 10 more damage for each counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh, I like Sigilef. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And we can, and it's a basic too. Something to might be fun to brew. Tool Scrapper. First Tool Scrapper could be a useful card. Finally a way to get rid of those attachments. Damn. <laughs> um, thank you for all the people that let me know in comments that, oh, there's already Rock, Paper, Scissors uh, concept in P TCGO, but I thought this was silly. Ooh, Malamar V. Drag off, switch one of your opponent's active Pokemon with their active, tech does 30 damage to the new active. And then Brain Shake 130 is now confused. All of these are kind of interesting, but you know, not too strong by design. And then VMAX is when the real damage starts to come. Seven hits, no secrets. And you know, eight, eight hits altogether is not irregular not uncommon so okay i'm officially nervous uh let's let's get our first one <laughs> and then we'll worry about a double secret box it's zero zero secret box that would be very disappointing milo shuckle luxio snover and another v pin 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 churn i say pin churn but uh, it's like we're missing a couple letters. Sparkling Strike 120 and is active Pokemon to put three damage counters on your attacking Pokemon. Alright, so it sounds kind of like that Sigilyph. Alright, we got our eight hits. No secrets. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, this is not. This may end up being a. Not a great way to start off the new set. All creme decorates. Touch any basic energies from your hand onto Pokemon any way you like. Hmm, that's cool. It is a evol evolution though. And I guess you could do stuff like energy retrieval, um, the Firestone just to get a bunch. Far fetched. And a Cramorant. A lot of Cramorants so far in the, the Sword and Shield era. Was it the third one already? Alright, come on. Give me a secret. Bronzong Metapod. Another Tool Scrapper. Nice. A Frapple. Okay, not bad. And, ooh, okay. We got the Toxicity VMAX. We still don't have any secret rares, but this was one of the cards I really wanted. Okay, so this remember the 
What's it? Garboder can instantly poison your opponent's Pokemon if you have a stadium in play. Then we got this guy for only three energy 160. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poison, do an additional 80 for a total of 240. This thing has 320 HP. Won't be easy to one shot him. So definitely one that's worth considering to brew a deck around. And zero secrets. We have four packs remaining. So this is high risk, high reward kind of situation where if we do get one, it means we have an amazing box or we have a very disappointing box as far as the secret rare goes. Pheasant. Three packs remaining. Lampant, another top entry. Galarian Mine. This card, I uh, wonder if there could be some really annoying things. You have you have a mine, you have some Absols on the bench, and then Tangrowth. Put this off to this side. Voltorb, and then Galarian Corsola. This one sounds interesting as well. Um, if this is your active and is knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack, flip a coin, if heads. Take, take your opponent's Pokemon down with you. Imagine doing that to a tag team or VMAX. A three for one on your opponent's turn. That sounds really good. Worth uh, the 50-50 shot in my opinion. All right, chat it. Ooh, gosh. Oh man, are we gonna get shorted a secret rare? Last pack. All right, please clutch up. Balance, put this outside. Capture energy provides a colorless energy. If you attach this card to Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Heliolus and oh, Butterfree. Yeah, so you can go straight to Butterfree. Uh, your active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. Kind of cool, but doesn't sound strong enough. And that is it. Man, we got a lot of the cards we're looking for. Uh, I guess we didn't really need the Rillaboom, but I did want the VMAX. And I do like this Toxtricity VMAX, and I'm curious to play something with Phalanx and Ninetales. So we got a lot of stuff we wanted, but man, missing that Secret Rare does, does hurt. But um, yes, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. We're getting really close to 1,000 subs. Again, we'll be giving away ETB next week. Be sure to check out the video on Monday. If you haven't subbed already, just sub now so you get notification. Hit that bell as well. And uh, yeah, live box opening tomorrow, Friday at 7 p.m. EST. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.